The backlog of cases at the Mississippi State Crime Lab continues despite lawmakers' efforts earlier this year. That has more law enforcement agencies turning to private crime labs, especially for their most pressing investigations. Stephen Pippo joins us live in the studio with more. Stephen? Winston, that's right. Lowndes, Monroe, and Octibaha counties are among those partnering with private crime labs for their most time-sensitive cases. The Octibaha County Sheriff's Department says that while this speeds up investigations and takes some of the burden off the state lab, it can't be a permanent solution. There's dozens of cases that are down there uh, that were waiting on some type of result, whether it be from a DUI investigation or a homicide. That's the kind of backlog the Mississippi State Crime Lab faces with the Octibaha County Sheriff's Department's cases alone. I don't take anything away from our crime lab's efforts. I think they are doing everything they can do with what they have. Taking in thousands of cases each year, Operations Captain Brett Watson says so many investigations across the state are on hold. It may be a piece of evidence, it's the only piece of evidence that we have to work with that we're waiting on to see where the case can go from here. That's why he says more law enforcement agencies are turning to private crime labs. The Octibaha County Sheriff's Department says the Columbus Forensic Lab does analysis on nearly 80% of its most serious drug cases. We started using them right off the bat because, because of the quicker turnaround time. And the Sheriff's Department has utilized their assets, have assisted them when they required that assistance. Watson says they've partnered with a crime lab in Brandon for more than 20 years for DNA analysis. We talk about homicides in particular. Victims' families are, are waiting on some sort of result. It's trying on them to have to sit and wait. But DNA analysis can cost as much as $10,000. Octibaha County can afford it, but many other agencies can't. The Mississippi Crime Lab and the good work they do are our ultimate solution. Funding them with the equipment and the staffing that they need to do as much as humanly possible is the only way out of this problem. Earlier this year, Mississippi lawmakers approved the creation of six new investigator positions at the state crime lab and have also discussed increasing funding, but there is no currently, currently no timetable for that.